Hey guys, my name is Doug with infotainment.com. Today we're in the 2019 and up Chevy Silverado in GMC Sierra. Today I'm going to show you guys how to install the rear view camera mirror that is up here on your windshield. You've seen it on some of the higher trim level Silverados and Sierras. Well, I'm going to show you how to do it for your lower trim level Silverado and Sierra. You simply just replace the mirror. You route wiring to the third brake light and you replace your third brake light with one that has a camera in it. Now here at infotainment.com, we provide all the parts pre-programmed for a plug and play installation. So let's get started. All right guys, in order to perform the installation, what we're gonna have to do is lower the headliner. Now in order to do that, you're gonna have to take out a bunch of screws and bolts around the perimeter of the headliner. I'll show you how to do it. It's not as bad as it sounds, but basically make sure you have a good Torx set tool set and your basic uh hex head drivers but basically what we're going to do and i'll just kind of give you a brief rundown before i get started there's these little trim tabs here these little trim pieces pop these out and there's two torque screws up in here make sure you're using kind of a longer torx bit because it is kind of far up in there where the two screws are there then uh once you do that you can just pull this down your visor once you pull this little um, thing behind here back with a screwdriver, you'll have a torque screw here. You'll be able to pop this off here. You'll notice three torque screws there. Pull these little covers off here. You have two, um, I believe they're 10 millimeter uh, bolts here. Then you'll come over here, pop this little thing off here. There's gonna be a torque screw there pop these little covers off here. These are also, uh, I believe, 10 millimeter. Um, pull this panel off. Up here, if you pull back, this down here will come down. That'll give you access to a torque screw there. This panel here just pops off um, and then you can just kind of pull it out of the way. Um, and that completes the driver's side. You're gonna do the exact same procedure on the passenger side. And then last but not least, this up here is held in with clips. Once you kind of have everything removed around the perimeter, you can kind of reach up under here and help pry this off. This is held in with two retaining clips here, um, and this will just pop right out. Now what we're gonna do is disconnect the two connectors in the overhead console, just pull up on the red tabs. You can use a little pry tool or a screwdriver to lift up on the tabs. Then you're just gonna press the clip in and pull it out. Now what we're gonna do is remove the rear view mirror. So 
pull off on the plastic part that's surrounding it. There's two pieces and then you're gonna loosen the screw, Torx screw that's underneath. And once you do that, it just comes right off. All right, what you'll notice is a connector right here. This connector is going to be glued onto your headliner. So what I did is just use the razor blade to kind of get up around it. And then eventually it'll free off. Then just come in here, kind of clean the connector up. This is going to be the connector for the, the new rear view mirror. Um, so basically, uh, basically the truck is pre-wired for it. So all you have to do is just plug this into uh, the new mirror wiring. But that's where it's located. It's just located right here and it's glued to the headliner. So just use a razor blade and get up around it and pull it off and clean it up. Now, in order to give us a little bit more room back here, um, I like to take the headrests off. So press the two tabs in on the bottom. And it comes right out. So we'll do that on both sides. When you go to remove this quarter panel off, um, you'll notice that it is tethered. You can just remove the screw to kind of get it out of the way. But now we have plenty of room where we can pull our headliner down to be able to access the screws that hold the third brake light in. All right, so now we have all the screws out. Um, the last thing we have are the two retaining clips that are here with the dome, dome lamp, and then uh, just around with all the, uh, the rubber, the door seals. So basically just pull it from underneath the door seals. You can notice that the headliner starts dropping. Now the only thing that's holding it in is this here. So you could either either grab a hold of it and just pull it down, or you can get up underneath and wedge it from the cross member here and just pop it right out. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna kind of slide it as far forward as we can. It is still attached with some wiring on the top. You don't need to take all the wiring out. But now we have plenty of room back here where we can gain access to the 10 bolts and nuts that hold the back uh, third brake light in. Let's go ahead and disconnect this. I disconnected um, a few little push pins up front on the wiring that goes in the headliner. I didn't disconnect anything permanently, just kind of pulled some of the pins out just so we can pull it forward. But now we have a really nice work area here to get those nuts and bolts out. All right, so we have a total of 12. Well, we have four um, bolts and eight nuts. So you're gonna see two bolts here, 10 millimeter, two on the other side. Then there's gonna be a total of eight nuts. One, two, three, four, same on the other side. Once you remove all 12 of those, up in here, you'll notice a yellow clip. It's gonna be hard for the camera to see, but there's a yellow clip here and there's a yellow clip on the other side. I like to use some needle nose pliers, kind of take a look up in there, push the, the two fins on the clip together as you're pulling on the outside. So I'll explain that in a minute. All right, so as I mentioned, there's a yellow clip here and there's a yellow clip on the other side. So what we wanna do is look up in there and make sure at the base of the clip you're squeezing in. Meanwhile, pulling out on the outside 
So I'll get the camera to show what I'm kind of doing on the outside now. All right, once you have those two clips pressed in, those yellow ones, it'll just pop right out. So I'll show you real quick what that looks like. Um, so here are the yellow clips and what they look like here. This is where you're pressing in to get them out. So these are those pain in the ass clips, these two yellow ones here. Now we're gonna remove these little push pins and pull up on the red tab, press in your connector. Now we can pull this whole spoiler away. All right, now to remove your third brake light from the spoiler, you're gonna have four T20 Torx screws. You got one, two, three, four. So go ahead and remove those. Now, once you remove those, you'll notice this little push clip. So you're gonna have that one there and this one here. So just kind of pull them away and push. And that will release your third brake light. Now, you can install the new one, which has the built-in camera, into the exact same location. All right, now in some instances, uh, when we first released this kit, we would include this cable here. Now this cable replaces the one for your existing third brake light um, to be able to utilize the coax cable for the digital camera. So we eliminated this cable, we no longer need this, and we no longer need this cable, which plugs in to um, this connector here on the inside of the cab and runs to your uh, your rear view mirror. So we've eliminated this stuff here and we have just this cable here. So this cable here actually does the trick um, perfectly. This is a custom cable we have here at infotainment.com. Plug this into the uh, LBDS coax camera, digital camera, and then just route simply run this through your headliner and then plug it into your rear view mirror. Now this cable here, this is a pre-production cable. Yours may be black, it may be turquoise teal color, but nevertheless, this will plug right into the rear view mirror. Now to get this, this cable into the cab, you can run it in through here, cut a, cut a little slit in here. You could run your, um, your uh, mail connector through there. You could do it through here. Just cut a little slit down in here carefully. Use some RTV sealant after you've cut it and you fish it through, and that way, uh, you know, you're not going to get any water leakage. All right, so as you can see, basically what I did is I just made a small little slit underneath where the cable goes through this grommet, and I fed the wire through there and just sealed it up here with some electrical tape. On this end, on this end, I'm going to put a little dab of RTV sealant. Um, but basically what we could do is we could just kind of just put this right back into place. And now we have the connectors to connect our th new third brake light. All right, before we put it in, I'm just going to follow the little coax cable here along the uh, Tessa tape of the power wiring. I'm just going to tape it to that just to make it nice and secure. If you do have any little slack, uh, before you tape it on the inside, you can, um, you know, um, just pull it through. But we want to make this so it's, you know, you don't have wire laying around.
Now that we have everything taped, we can go ahead and just set it back into place. All right, here's the wiring that we pulled into the cab. This is gonna plug into your uh, rear view mirror. Um, and then basically at this point, we're just gonna kind of route this down the headliner and then make our way up to the front. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and plug this back in for the third brake light. And then just simply in, in reverse, just do everything that I did to take it down, do it in reverse to put it back in. Uh, so we'll do that now. All right, guys, what I did to get started is I, I um, put up this first coat hanger, the driver's side coat hanger. Um, I did pop in the dome lamp here. Make sure this is nice and flush with the headliner before popping it in. Um, and then there's two little push pins back here. Pop these in as well. And then the coat hanger over here, put this one in. Then we can start putting um, the uh, the rubber around the, around the headliner itself, and that kind of helps keep it up too. And we're just gonna simply move our way forward.
right, at this point, we pulled our, um, our camera cable right through here. There was a little bit of excess, so we coiled it up, put the twist tie on it, and then we just set it back here above the headliner. So basically what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna plug it in. We're just gonna make sure 100% that this is working. So plug it into this connector here and plug the one connector that you peeled back into here. So we're gonna go ahead and put the truck on. And we notice it's working. So now we can reassemble the front part. All right, we're ready to install our mirror. So it's gonna slide over the exact same um, little clip here as the original mirror. So start from the top, slide it downwards. Then I don't like to use a drill to tighten up this Torx screw here. I like just to hand tighten it. Um, so that's nice there. Now you have two connectors. So as we just tested, um, there's two connectors. The one that was taped or glued rather to the headliner. Once you have that nice and clean and scraped, you're good there. And then the other one is going to be the one that we routed from the third brake light camera. And that'll plug into here. Now, what I typically do is put this on the left side, just kind of tuck this in here, pull the excess cabling back into your headliner. There is a little slot there for it right up here so you can make sure you got all your wiring in um, you know make sure that your camera wiring is kind of out of the way for the overhead console so you're not going to screw into that wire so now we can go ahead and put our plastic trim around here all right now to put the plastic piece on and uh, there's two pieces it does take a little bit of uh, finagling, so you have two little clips down here and two up here. So as you slide up on here, those clips have to get behind the brace. Once you have that, this other one slides in first and then pops up. When it comes to putting the headline or the uh, sun visor in, I like to just hand tighten these just a little bit. That way, whenever you stick it in, you can use your drill to put it in place. ready to go ahead and plug in our overhead console connectors. Plug it in, push your tabs down. This one here, if you popped it out, this will pop out and this will also slide off. Those of you who have a sunroof will have something connected into here. 
those of you who do not won't have to worry about it. All right, now remember, um, these can be a little bit of a pain to put back in, these screws, so just take your time. They are gonna go back into these little slots here, these little um, uh, nuts here. So once you pop it into place, you're gonna have to feed your screws up into here and screw it in, so take your time on that. All right guys, that completes the install. All right guys, as you can see, this is such an awesome little upgrade here. Um, you can press this button here or this tab and it turns back into a regular rear view mirror. So you can see the obstructions, you can see the headrests and stuff, but as soon as you flip it, now it goes right back to the camera. Uh, if you press this button here, you can come in here and you can adjust the brightness. Press it again and you can actually zoom in and out. Press it one more time and you can actually tilt up and down depending if your truck's lifted or not or whatever. But just a really, really cool upgrade. Not only is it neat, but it's also uh, a great safety feature. You can see a lot more behind your vehicle, your truck, without having to you know, look through the back glass. So just a really, really cool upgrade here at infotainment.com. We do this upgrade and so much more here at infotainment.com, not just for the Silverado and Sierra, but also the Ford vehicles, Rams, Jeeps, uh, Toyotas, Nissans. Check us out at infotainment.com. We offer a whole lot of cool stuff. And the Silverado and Sierra specifically, uh, we do a lot of things, not, just, not only just the rear view camera, uh, mirror here, which is an awesome feature. We can also add Sirius XM to your factory radio using factory parts. What about auto start stop? Do you hate the fact that your truck shuts off at stop signs or stop lights? We can disable that. We also do the upgraded digital cluster, 100% plug and play, pre-programmed by infotainment.com, really enhances the technology in your truck. We also do cool upgrades like cat skin leather, custom leather kits we carry right on our website. We even have how-to videos to show you or your installer how to properly do it. So take a minute, come check us out at infotainment.com. Thanks for watching.